Hey guys, what's going on? James here, and in this video today, we're going to be continuing the series of videos talking about which players the Tampa Bay Buccaneers should and should not re-sign. And in this video, we're talking about Tampa Bay Buccaneers running back Leonard Fournette. Playoff Lenny, who overall did not have the best regular season in what was overall a prove-it year for playoff Lenny, Lombardi, Lenny, whatever you want to call him. He finished the regular season with 95, or sorry, 97 carries, 367 yards, and six touchdowns. He also had 233 receiving yards to go along with that, but I'm sure as all of you guys know, in the playoffs, he went absolutely crazy with 82 touches, 448 scrimmage yards, and four touchdowns throughout the Buccaneers playoff run. That was the big stretch of games for playoff Lenny, Lombardi Lenny, uh, you know, NFC Championship Lenny, Super Bowl Lenny, you know, he's got a ton of uh, Lenny nicknames at this point, but overall, it was a really weird situation where, you know, Leonard Fournette was not getting a ton of playing time in the regular season due to the fact that Ronald Jones was the starting running back, um, and then whenever the playoffs came around, Ronald Jones was dealing with some injuries that pretty much put him out for a decent chunk of the playoffs. They leaned on Leonard Fournette heavily throughout those playoff games, and he showed up every single playoff game and helped take some of that pressure off of Tom Brady and the passing game and overall did an extremely solid job as a running back and even a little bit as a receiving back as well throughout those playoffs. Now, Leonard Fournette did have some problems dropping the ball in the receiving game throughout the regular season, but in the playoffs, again, it just seemed like playoff Lenny could really do no wrong. So, are the Tampa Bay Buccaneers going to re-sign Leonard Fournette? Should they re-sign Leonard Fournette? Well, I'm going to say that they should not re-sign Leonard Fournette. The reason I feel this way is because I love Leonard Fournette. I think he's phenomenal, but I don't think the Tampa Bay Buccaneers are going to be able to be in that price range that Leonard Fournette is going to be looking for. I also feel like Leonard Fournette is going to go to a situation where he is probably going to be viewed as the number one running back. I don't believe the Buccaneers view Leonard Fournette as the number one running back right now. I believe that they still feel that a combination of Ronald Jones getting, you know, probably 75% of the running back snaps and then Leonard Fournette getting 25%, that seems like a balance that works for this Buccaneers team. It did just in this recent season. So Leonard Fournette, I feel like he is probably going to go to a team that is going to give him a legitimate shot to be a number one running back. Which team will that be? Uh, we don't know. The Pittsburgh Steelers might have an opening at running back, depending on what's going on with James Conner. He is also a free agent as well. Leonard Fournette would probably be amazing for that team. The Washington football team might also, you know, take an interest in Leonard Fournette, as well as some other teams that are out there. Uh, you know, I really do feel like playoff Lenny, Lombardi Lenny, he made himself a good bit of money with that playoff run. If he didn't have that playoff run, I would be relatively confident that the Tampa Bay Buccaneers could bring back Leonard Fournette and at a relatively reasonable price at that. But with the way he played throughout the playoffs, I mean, he showed not just the Buccaneers, but also a lot of NFL teams as well that, hey, I deserve some decent money, and I also deserve to be a starting running back in this league. And given the way how the league is with these certain types of things and players, you know, proving themselves in very uh, short stretches of games, they usually give those guys a pretty decent amount of money and give them a pretty decent chance to be that guy for their team. So with all that being said... Leonard Fournette, I just don't think the Buccaneers are going to be able to be in that price range to bring him back, and I don't think they're going to be able to give Leonard Fournette the opportunities that he wants. And I don't blame Leonard Fournette. Hey, he got his Super Bowl ring. Now he can go get some money and get a starting opportunity as well. And if that is going to end up happening, I am super happy for Leonard Fournette. I wish him nothing but the best. And as I've said with all of these players, you know, even for the ones that do leave, I will never forget what they have done for this team in terms of Everybody contributing to helping this team win a Super Bowl. Playoff Lenny, Lombardi Lenny, he is one of those big factor guys during that playoff run. So, you know, again, at the end of the day, we don't know. But I just think that, you know, Lombardi Lenny, Leonard Fournette, he will not be back with this team. And while it is unfortunate if that does end up being what happens... I'll never forget what he did, and, you know, Lombardi Lenny will always have a special place in my heart. So, 
With that being said, guys, you've heard my thoughts about this situation. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments section below. Do you think that Lerman Fournette will re-sign with this team, or do you think he will go off into free agency and sign with another team? Give me your thoughts and reasonings behind whichever answer or conclusion you come to down in the comments section below. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Hope you all enjoyed, and I will see you guys all in the next video or the next live stream. But until then, and as always, guys, goodbye for now, and go Bucks.